The long-awaited expansion plans for a resort in St. Pete Beach are out, and they're meeting some pushback once again. The owner of the Tradewinds Island Resort submitted the plans to the city this week. Yes, yeah, Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy reports for us now. Some locals are raising the same concerns that they had when the owner presented the idea last year. For Edna Hicks, St. Pete Beach is her little piece of paradise. This was the one that really had a small town feel. I walk across to the beach to watch sunset every night. Hicks is part of a group called Protect St. Pete Beach. They worry development will overtake their small island and cast a shadow over their sunsets. Fortunately, unfortunately, we're an island and we can't expand Gulf Boulevard. They're concerned with plans to expand the Tradewinds Island Resorts. The resort's owner, 1754 Properties, submitted a permit application Tuesday, outlining plans for new buildings, more than 600 new rooms, new conference and retail space, three new pools, and three new parking garages. Hicks says that all adds up to a lot more traffic. So I can go across town in 15 minutes right now. Now I have to say that during peak traffic, it's been, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Imagine if we double or triple the number of cars on the road. 1754 Properties says it listened to the concerns brought by the community last year. New buildings will be set back a significant distance from Gulf Boulevard. It's expanding public beach access, reducing the number of entrances and exits at the trade winds, and widening sidewalks. Hicks wishes they'd just renovate what they have instead of adding more. It goes back to the same thing. The highway, or the you know, Gulf Boulevard cannot handle that kind of increase in traffic. Newly elected St. Pete Beach Mayor Adrian Petrilla started a petition opposing the trade winds expansion last year. At the time, saying this. The traffic congestion and, and tenure construction that it's going to take is going to be an absolute nightmare for anyone that lives on St. Pete Beach. But today, Petrilla, who ran on a platform rejecting overdevelopment, says he won't be making any public comments on the Trey Winds' new plans. Kaylee Tracy, Fox 13 News.